What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a mukbang. Is it mukbang or mukbang? I think I heard correct pronunciations of mukbang. Well, that's what we're going to call it for the purpose of this video. So today we're going to do a mukbang and we're going to get into a little bit of talking about what what we want to see in 2021. What kind of goals we have set, what type of things we would like to do, places we would like to see. So let's get into it. Okay, so I got food for today's mukbang from Legacy Carryout. They have two locations, both in Maryland, one in Waldorf, one in Fort Washington. So I went to the one in Fort Washington today because if you've been following my channel and you know I've been doing a 30 to 30 birthday challenge. Earlier today, I did challenge number 12, which was to go to Top Golf and went to the Top Golf located in Oxen Hill. So on the way home, I decided let me go pick up some, some carry out. So I ordered one of their new items. They recently started doing egg rolls. So I ordered some shrimp egg rolls. So if you can get into that. And then I also ordered their legacy wings, their famous legacy wings. I got the 10 piece legacy wings. I don't want to spill it. I got the 10 piece legacy wings with um, two flavors. I got the Maryland Heat and I also got the garlic parm uh, wing flavor and then the side of fries um, with shredded crab fries. Okay, so I figured I'd give you guys a closer look at my food. So yeah, like I was saying, I had the order of 10 wings with the two different flavors. And then I have my crab fries there with the house sauce. And then the shrimp egg rolls as well on the side. And then that also came with the drink, the combo came with the drink. And I got ginger ale, but it don't taste too hot. I think it was time for them to... To change the syrup on that so i just got me some water you have to go wrong with that so yeah let's get into this food <laughs> but also let's get into what we like to see come from 2021 mainly i'm going into 2021 with expectation that it's going to be better than 2020. Okay? That's really all you can do is remain positive that what's coming is better than what has left. I'm proud of this bomb. But yeah, so I'm going into 2021 for expectation. And I'm also just really grateful. Like, just um, from New Year's, New Year's Eve, and so yesterday, New Year's Day, because I didn't, I didn't mention, but today is Saturday, January 22nd. I'm sorry. I'm getting too excited about my birthday. <laughs> today is Saturday, January 2nd, no 20. So yeah, all yesterday, I was just like, a um, big being of gratitude. Just being grateful. Just that I made it this far. But yeah, some things I'd like to do in 2021. First off, this is actually kind of one of them. <laughs> like I said, I'm doing a birthday challenge right now. And I've been vlogging it. And I've really enjoyed that process. Even before deciding to do the challenge, I wanted to try to vlog more. Because in quarantine, one of the hobbies, I guess you could say, that I picked up is following people like doing travel vlogs and everything like that on YouTube. And I'm gonna do that type of stuff more. I'm gonna pull out my dips here. So I got blue cheese dressing, a couple ranches, and also their signature legacy sauce. I think I might put this extra extra on my fries. Oh, hold on, let me see, hold up. I see how it tastes with the egg roll dipped in it. Well, let me taste the egg roll without it first. Mmm, it's pretty good. Dip into legacy sauce. Mmm. 
My bad. <laughs> no clue what that luggage is all. But yeah, so I was, and I would watch travel vlogs before. But I've really gotten into them lately. Maybe because we can't really travel right now like we want to. And I live vicariously through other people. But yeah. That's something I want to do more of in 2021. Is like get into creating content more. And not like content like I'm trying to be like some social media influence or anything like that. But I just really like this whole like sect of YouTube. I do just vlogging and stuff like that. And I found with the ones I've done so far, I really enjoyed editing it. Like shooting it and editing it. So maybe it ain't even crossed my mind. Oh, that must be the car. It's not hot. Let me taste some of these Maryland heats. Maryland heat. So, mm. <laughs> it's saucy. I'm guessing Obey is involved somehow since it's Maryland heat. Mmm. Mm. The Maryland Heat is on point. What was I saying? Oh yeah. It even crossed my mind to possibly do like little mini travel vlogs where I might not be going somewhere far. But maybe just like around the community vlogging and showcasing different businesses. Yeah, I crossed my mind it's something to do. Like maybe I can shoot videos showcasing different black businesses in our area. I already support them anyway. <laughs> Maybe I could vlog from trips to these different places. So that's one thing that's crossed my mind. That being said though, <laughs> I would be glad when the world finally opens up so I could travel for real. But one thing I have learned, I mean, this time of quarantine is working with what you have. Even though 2020, I didn't get to hit up a lot of places like I wanted to, because me and some friends, of course, we all visit our other friend down in Florida. That didn't happen. I had wanted to, for this, for my birthday coming up this year in 2021, my 30th birthday, I had wanted to go somewhere, perhaps somewhere like Ghana or something. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> But I was still blessed to do different things that's still fun and still felt like traveling. But I think what I'm learning is, that's my legacy sauce of funny surprise. <laughs> I think what I'm learning is new experiences aren't created by how far you go. You know? You can create new experiences right in your own backyard. So, even if the world is not completely open back up this year, I still plan to create new experiences just with what I have and where I'm at. So that's something I'm looking forward to in 2021. I mean, that's another thing that I look for um, vlogs that I stumbled upon, different YouTubers. I would search things like staycation vlog and find people that went on short trips to new places. I mean, I went to a couple new places myself this year. We're we'll probably get away right here in Maryland. I went to Ocean City. That's one of the places I went to this year. And I have been to Ocean City before, but only one time is before our work related conference. And it was in the off season too. So I didn't really get to see it at its full in this. So yeah, it was great to go there. And thank God. But I've been able to work this whole time where I still have the means and provisions to do the things like that. To go somewhere for a couple nights or do a different activity. One of the other places I visited, which I had never been this year, was Cambridge, Maryland. And it was beautiful. Oh my God. I stayed at the, the Hyatt Resort. I want to say it was called Hyatt Regency, Hyatt Resort and Spa. Oh, or Hyatt Chesapeake Bay Resort Spa, something like that. It was owned by the Hyatt. And it was it was just so refreshing to stay there. Be near the water and take all that in. Cranberry Melon is where 
Harry Tubman is from. Right here in Maryland. Two hours away. It's not even as far as going to Ocean City. It's on the eastern shore, but it's not that far. Well, it's not as far. Right here in Maryland. As soon as I got into town, they had a beautiful mural. A beautiful mural de dedicated to her. As soon as you get into town. And I went down to the courthouse. They have a beautiful statue of her trying to rescue you and save a little girl and um, help her escape slavery. That's right here in Maryland. Also, went to Ashley Island a couple times. And it's amazing the places where people who lived in Maryland all their life know nothing about. I had several people ask me when they saw like the pictures posted on Instagram or whatever, asked me where I was, thinking I was on some Caribbean island, sent asking, what is Astatee? I'm talking about people that have been in Maryland longer than me. I've been here going on eight years. I'm talking about people that was born and grew up here. I have no idea about Astatee Island. That's what I'm saying. You can create these new experiences right here in your own backyard. And the other day, I went to Frederick, man. Beautiful. I'll be back. Hour and a half away. I don't have to get on a plane or nothing. So, I look forward to more of that in 2021. Creating new experiences. Because if I'm going to spend money, that's why I like to spend my money on anywhere. Anybody that knows me <laughs> knows I'm conservative when it comes to money. So, I, I live below my means so that when opportunities to come up to take these new experiences i'm ready i don't buy a lot of things and the things like the materials clothes shoes stuff like that that i do buy don't you know i would go down there to ross i would go down there to burlington and my shoes you know sneakers can get expensive but i will catch a sale okay i will catch a sale I will search all over retail me not for them discount codes. So that's how that's how I try to leave, live, be fis fiscally fiscally <laughs> responsible. Okay, right, I'm gonna spend my money on what I want. How many goals is that? Vlogging more, YouTubing more, and then create new experiences. But all that being said, now the world's clear up. I'm going somewhere. So some places I would like to go. If the Lord say so, as the old folks say. <laughs> if the Lord say so. I would like to make it to Ghana. I know trips to Africa can get expensive. So maybe even, even if I don't make it this year, maybe I can start saving up. My second family is planning a trip to Egypt in 2023, actually. So if I don't happen to make it in 2021, that'll be fine. Because I'll just go in two years. I also like to go to Colombia. Ever since I took um, Spanish in college, and my Spanish teacher is also a black history teacher, very conscious, and I learned all this this new world of you know the the enslaved people that that sent to places in Central and South America instead of America and, and their plight. So I've always been interested in traveling to places in Central and South America that have high populations of black people. So I went to Cuba in 2019. So I would like to make it to Colombia as well. And even Brazil too. Now I'm glad when I make it to all three of these countries next, well, not next year, this year, I'm gonna make it to all three countries this year. Maybe not, but we're just speaking goals and dreams right now. Well, that's just some of the places that are on my list. Also, when the world open up and God say so, I'd like to plan some meetups for my um, online community, Black Librarians. It was actually my goal last year to have a, a meetup, in-person meetup every quarter. And I was actually planning the one for the first first quarter of 2020 for March. 
when Narona came up in and started dumping on everybody. So that's something else I look forward to um, for when the world opens back up. So what we got now? That's four loaves. All right, let me hit y'all with one more. And you're having a nice number of five. Who we have? Vlogging on YouTube, creating new experiences, traveling, doing in-person in events again as Black Librarians. Another goal or dream of mine for 2021 is to continue leveling up in my business. So this year was a pretty good year for my business where I was steady generate income increasing my income i was generating more and more as the months progressed so that's been great i like to um come up with some new designs some new products and i'd also like to just le legitimize the business finally so just making sure all uh, my uh, ducks are in a row when it comes to the actual actual business side of things. I'm good at the creative side, but the business side is where I need to focus on. And so I'm also looking to do that in 2021. Whew. I'm starting to get food, y'all. One thing about legacy, no food will put you up. I go into a food coma every time I eat there. It is very decadent, rich. You definitely cannot eat there every day. If you're trying to start off your 2021 with eating right, do not go there. Because it will. Okay. Idis City. Idis City. Idis City. It's so good, though. We're talking y'all, it's probably good, though. You know what they say. When you eat slower, you eat less. Because I've only eaten three wings. I'm going to say one egg roll because it looks like they cut it in half. So I think it's two, but they cut it in half. So this is the last of my um, second half. And I still got enough fries here for another serving. <laughs> I've been talking to y'all for what? 15, 20 minutes. I wasn't talking to y'all. More food be demolished by now. <laughs> it was actually probably a good thing. Because this way, take my time to eat it. Let it hit the bottom of my belly. Let that signify to my brain that something in there is going to be down so I don't overeat. Oh, I do have one more goal I've been working on. My mother bought me an exercise bike for Christmas. So, my roommate, actually speaking for me, <laughs> said to me, I'm not going to ask me to me, <laughs> that I will commit to 30 minutes of biking per day. But I was like, well, you know what? Even though you spoke for me, <laughs> that actually is a pretty good goal. So that's something I've been working on as well. I put the bike together for Sunday after Christmas. So from Sunday to yesterday, I did 30 minutes every day except for New Year's Eve. I rest of mine and fell asleep. I waited too late. And I haven't done today's yet, but after I let my food settle for a little bit, I hop on there. Maybe in the next couple of hours. So that's something else I'm gonna try to keep up with. Because it's quarantine, like life comes at you hard. But anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. I might eat a little bit more and then just save the rest for tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed my first mukbang. Drop comments below on what's some things you're looking forward to doing in 2021. So if it's your goals, dreams that you have, things you wanna do, places you wanna see, let me know in the comments below what you look forward to for this next year. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.
Ooh.